just checking on uh, one of my spiders here in my backyard. Um, this is an introduction to part two of my trip, that vacation in California, the deserts there, and uh, hunting black widow spiders. This is where I've, I capture a pretty good sized black widow spider, and it's my first attempt at that. And uh, for those of you who've never been up close and personal with a black widow spider, you might enjoy these particular clips. So sit back and enjoy part two of hunting a black widow spider. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'm going to see if I can catch this particular black widow spider. She is the largest one I've found, as I mentioned. And let's see if I can take her back to get her in a glass container so we can get a little better pictures of her. And it's about uh, 5 o'clock in the morning, California time. And uh, so there's nobody up and walking around yet, which is fine with me because we have a chance to get out here before, uh, before the kids hit the pool anyway. <laughs> So, let's see if I can catch her and bring her back to a glass jar for better filming. Okay, we're looking at one last female here, the larger the species of black widow that I've seen so far. And let's see if we can just zoom in so you can get a little better shot of the distinguishing red hourglass. There she goes. <laughs> Nice specimen. And that's how you do that. <laughs> Good morning. I have my black widow I caught last night, or actually very early in the morning, and I'm um, going to take a closer look at her this morning to see if we can just uh, get a little closer video shots. So that's what I'm about to do. Um, I've already taken the cover off of the cup I had her in, so let's take a look at her. Still want to give her plenty of respect. just realizes she has one of her legs stuck out over the edge of the cup. Well, let's see if she'll uh, be thinking about escape here. And a very smooth, shiny black coat reflects the light. Busy making herself a little web at the 
top of the cup. Yeah, I got a hunch she's got, got to have escape on mind here. Interesting spider. Okay, I've uh, enjoyed her, and uh, one last look at her. She can lay up to Oh, four to six eggs in a summer. Lifetimes only about one season, maybe maximum year and a half. And uh, one of her eggs can hold anywhere up to 720 babies. The problem is when they hatch, they're pretty cannibalistic, so maybe only about a Six to a dozen survive from any egg. Um, they are opportunist and they will eat each other. That's why these widows have so many babies, spiderlings, because very few survive from the egg because of cannibalism. By the way, the males do not eat. Their sole purpose is to inseminate the female and then go find another one. And it's not true that she eats her mate when he's done mating with her. If she's hungry, she might grab him to have a meal, but she doesn't always eat her mate, thus the name Black Widow. She's a widow maker. And I'm gonna take her back to the wild now where she belongs and let her back go and uh, she can make a new erratic web design. But uh, hey, thanks for watching. I had a lot of fun with the Black Widows. Have a great day.